Um, I definitely think that it would be different because um, I grew up in the States. My first language was actually English. So most of the music I listen to is actually Western music. And um, I've only started listening to um, Chinese music, you know, uh, more recently. Like I would say maybe I started in college. I started listening to Korean music first and then um, Japanese and things like that. But like my, I, the, the picture I used to have of Chinese music was all the stuff my parents listened to, just older. You know, they listened to uh, like the Legion, Teresa Tang and Jackie Chung. And, um, and so that was like my only knowledge of Chinese music up until I came to Taiwan pretty much. And I went to Taiwan and then I started listening to all these different kinds of music and I started seeing that, wow, like the Asian music industry is actually growing and growing. It's developing really fast. And, um, you know, I fell in love with it. So, but I do think there's a lot of influence of, you know, my growing up in the States. Well, there's a lot of artists that I like, just that I've been wowed by, you know, like, um, a lot of them are like, um, well, like when I was little, I had like my little idols and everything, but um, I think more recently, um, I would say Beyonce, um, because well, she's from Texas, you know, and previously, like, you know, in Texas, there's like a lot of, a lot of people, like, a lot of people who support her, a lot of people who don't, you know, especially back when there was Destiny's Child and there was all this stuff about her trying to get the spotlight and everything, and so I didn't really have that big of an opinion of her until I saw her concert in Taipei, and she was all out, you know, like, on stage, and I, like, almost cried, you know, just because to see that and to know how it feels to stand on stage, and it was, like, a Monday night, it wasn't even, like, a really hot night for a concert, and, um, but she was going all out and singing and dancing and just the entire performance and she was having fun with it with all her dancers and everything and all her musicians it was it was really great so I think um, like seeing a lot of live performances I think that has has it brings inspiration to me I like like Cirque du Soleil I mean I know it's not like a pop pop group or anything but like I really love their performances and I have since like high school I think and um, I think that's influenced me a lot too a lot of Asian artists have tried to release um, albums in the USA. Do you think you would follow the same path? Um, I would like to. I mean, I think it would be great if I could have like, an English album and everything out. But um, we, we have been talking about it for a while, but um, it's still kind of in the works. Um, previously, I did a Mandarin musical, and that was a really good experience. It was about a year-long tour for a snowflake um, show. With uh, Jackie Cho, and um, that was great because I never thought that I would be able to perform with my family's idol. You know, he's like my parents love him, and my sisters and everything. We all like really worship him, and I ended up working with him. And um, and people ask me because of that, like, would you ever think about doing an English musical? I would love to, love to. So if there's ever anyone who's looking for Asian girl to do a musical, you can seriously because um, I've my first musical I did when I was five, and I had to speak French for it, and I had to sing in French, and then after that it was all English, and then when I did the Chinese one. Um, so if I do have the opportunity, whether it's to release a pop album or be in a musical or just perform, I would love it. Yeah.